Having bad posture has always been a normal part of my life. I'm a real tall, skinny guy, and I'm also a dentist, and so I'm always just leaning over the wrong way. And when I was in my 20s, I started to have lower back pain. I went to a physical therapist, and he said, you have a weak core. At the time, the word core wasn't so commonplace. So I'll just have a physical therapist explain what the core is. It's those muscles that are located in your trunk, and they have two different roles. Um, one's to really stabilize the spine and protect it with all the spinal cord and um, different uh, vessels that are traveling along that um, to give that protection. And second of all, it's to provide really good stability and a base of support for the legs and the arms to work off of. And apparently the best way to exercise the core and keep it strong and stable is to do this exercise called a plank. Okay, so how are you supposed to do it? You're supposed to keep a perfectly straight back like a wooden plank and have only your toes and your elbows bear all of your weight. So the challenge, get in a plank position, try to do it right, no cheating, and do it for as long as I can in the morning when I wake up and in the evening before I go to bed. And the first time I did it, I was able to keep that position Here, without it. any cheating for about a minute and 33 seconds. And how did I do? Well, let's roll the music. This habit requires such a minimal time commitment. I really think I would have gotten a perfect 14 out of 14. Unfortunately, I just forgot twice. So here's what I've learned. Number one, I have these really big veins in my head. Number two, I learned that the week that I was doing the planks, my lower back was much less symptomatic that week. For those of you for whom this challenge is too difficult, there's a couple ways that you can modify. Number one is you can just lean up against a wall and make it more difficult over time as you get stronger by just inching your feet further back. Then as you gain the strength, get on the floor, but don't do a full plank. Instead, just get in a plank position, but put your knees on the ground. And then there are those of you for whom this is too easy and there's a couple ways to modify as well. Number one is you can just put a weight on your back of some kind. It can be a human weight maybe. Or if that weight isn't available, you can lift an arm or lift a leg. Or in one case, I tried to lift both one arm and one leg, but I lost my balance. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this week. I really think that this is a habit that could stick and you can really feel the benefit from it right away. You know, I do have lower back pain. It's not bad enough for me to be concerned about it. But throughout this entire week, my lower back pain was gone. Hopefully you'll find similar results. Hey, videotape me. I'm going to do planks videotape. No, that's